Hey, this is Jeff, Georgia Fire Rescue Supply. Let's talk a little bit about high pressure lifting bags. We are here to talk about today uh, Paratech Maxi Force lifting bags. And Paratech uh, is Maxi Force lifting bags is what we see used by most of the USAR teams across the land. And I believe research would show why they come to those conclusions. And one thing that you would like to know is when we look at high-pressure lifting bags, often all we see is the outer skin of these bags and maybe the texture and some of those things. But what we don't see is what's deep down underneath. And that's really important as to what gives us the strength. If you'll take a look at this cutaway section of a Paratech bag, what I'm pointing at here is this is Kevlar. And if you can zoom in here to where they uh, see this, there's three layers of Kevlar in Paratex Maxi Force high pressure lifting bags. This is very important because this adds to the strength and the ability of the bag, but also the durability and its uh, absolute in integrity as to how strong this bag is going to be in the real world that we're going to subject these to, which is often very brutal. Now, what you need to know is this is an important characteristic that you don't necessarily have when you look at competitors uh, lifting bags. Uh, for example, um, here is one of our competitors bags and if you'll just kind of zoom in here, this is in the Paratech uh, bag we have three layers of Kevlar and here we only have two layers of Kevlar in this particular uh, model, the one of our competitors' bags. Let's take a look at another competitor, a cutaway section that we cut out of this bag here. We stack it side by side, and if you'll zoom in here so the folks in the, watching the video can tell this. In this bag, we only have two layers of Kevlar compared to the three layers in the Paratech bag. And that is going to make a difference in the strength and the durability of how well these bags are going to function out in the abusive world of uh, technical rescue that we're doing uh, what we do to try to help the public when they're in danger and in trouble. This is something that you really need to you know, pay attention to and it's not anything that you're going to know by just seeing uh, some type of bag such as this sitting on a tabletop during a sales presentation. You're just not going to see that as if you could imagine this bag as it was sitting on during a sales presentation. We wouldn't know what's actually down in here if we didn't uh, do a little more investigative work. So that's important for you to know and we're going to take a break here on the video and we're going to talk about uh, thicknesses of bags and insertion points and how that plays out into our decision making process when we're just, uh, getting ready to purchase such a piece of equipment. So let's take a break now and then we'll uh, start back in just a moment. Okay, we're back. Let's take a look at the thickness of the uh, Maxi Forest bags from Paratech and kind of compare that to some of the others. We have uh, three thicknesses here uh, to uh, talk about. And what it boils down to is uh, Paratech tries to give you the thinnest bag possible you know, for the job that we're trying to do. And as we increase in some of the size, um, just the size of the work we're trying to do alone increases the thickness of some of the bags. But what we have is our thinnest uh, bag is three quarters of an inch uh, thick. And then as we increase in size, we'll get to a bag size that's going to have an insertion point of 7 eighths of an inch and our thickest bags are going to have an insertion point of 1 inch. Now why is the insertion point so important is we can't control in the rescue world how much space we're going to have in the area we're needing to insert the bags to do our uh, displacement of the, of the load at, at hand. Unfortunately uh, we have a lot of our competitors that offer bags that are just much more thick. If you look over here, if you'll zoom into this area, this is a 
one inch insertion point here of a Paratech Maxi Force lifting bag. That's as thick as it gets. And if you compare these two bags, this bag is significantly thicker. Probably uh, somewhere in the area of a quarter inch, uh, something of that nature. And although this is a smaller bag in length by width compared to a lot of our other bags, it is that quarter inch uh, can make uh, all the difference in the world of being able to make the maneuver or not being able to perform what's needed to be done. And so, again, uh, you know, it's competitors' bags, uh, significantly thicker than our maximum of one inch thick. And then we take another competitor's cutaway section and just lay it there. And again, we're significantly thicker than our thickest one inch insertion point. So it, it comes down to being able to do the jobs that we're dispatched as public safety responders to be able to do. And a lot of us, unfortunately, we get delivered a sales pitch that's based off of just laying something on the table and not really getting into the de advanced details that need to be shared and considered and thought about. So it boils down to it we're not really comparing apples to apples here. Uh, it's very, very different. And sometimes that we get in this situation that price becomes the driving factor and not a whole lot of accurate information that is used in making these important decisions. So with that, us being a company of firefighters, serving firefighters, we're bringing real world experience to the table. And we feel like that these kind of points is where the rubber meets the road, if you will, and the things that we have as added value of what we can help you with. So if you have some questions, would like to know more details and about this or you know there's even opportunities we'd be willing to discuss with you about uh, trading officers if you've got some bags that uh, you'd like for us to take a look at and give consideration of maybe giving a trade-in allowance where you can get into a, a, a better bag uh, for uh, what you're trying to do out there in the streets of your community give us a call the uh, phone number is on the screen here and the uh, website address is on the screen also so just fill out uh, uh, at any time you need us, give us a contact and we'll try to help you. Thanks for watching this video and we'll talk to you later.